once you're logged into the computer, go to Google Chrome, go to your Canvas dashboard, and scroll down to the Canvas course Fab Lab 2020 LBC session. For this lesson, we're going to focus on the Hewlett Packard Design Jet T520 by single left clicking on the 24 by 36 publisher template. By clicking on the link with your left mouse button, this will begin your download and it will bring it up in Publisher. Left click on the arrow, select open. 24 wide, 36 high. This is kind of key for the Hewlett Packard plotter. Uh, the plotter is really just a, basically a really big color printer. Uh, the maximum it can do is 36 inches. We're going to currently uh, just complete a 24 inch wide plot. I do not have a set plot for you folks to complete. This is going to be your own design since we have about 50 plus or minus uh, minutes uh, to do something this is where you can customize. Now I'm going to customize using this template and show you a couple things that uh, that you can do with uh, with publishers since not a lot of people know how to use it. If you have used it you can just skip forward uh, and bypass all these little tricks and everything and move on to your design and then restart this video lesson once you reach the actual printing process. So what we're going to do here is I could go into uh, if I wanted to do some type of values for my uh, for my classroom and make a very big poster so it's posted all the time everybody can see it I could do uh, go across uh, the top here and I could insert maybe word art or you could just go back to the home tab and do a simple uh, text box I already have this set up with margins at a half an inch so try to follow within those lines if you need to zoom up and do some detail, you can hit the, the plus sign. Where this is going to be handy for students, I know a lot of teachers have students make trifold uh, presentation boards, and a lot of it is literal cut and paste. So kids are cutting things out of a magazine or finding a website, printing in color, and uh, using a glue stick and a scissors and so on. If every student has a Chromebook and has something similar to Publisher. Now we're going to convert to a PDF once this is complete. Everybody's going to have that, uh, that ability. Uh, one of our big things, the reason why I like to start Publisher when I have people come in and say, hey, can you print this, is a matter of having it that size already in the PDF before I have to uh, somebody designed something on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and they end up uh, it, it doesn't come out as high quality as uh, as it should so what we're gonna do maybe I'll go into that uh, that word art and I'll grab some blue here and type in Mr. Gein, Mr. Gaines room values. Now I'm not going to say that this is exactly how I'm going to have it. I'm going to kind of fast forward through uh, through some of this. Now I can get fancy and kind of drag these things around me. So I'm going to eventually change this up uh, and then I can maybe once I ask the students exactly what uh, what the classroom values uh, would be because I like them to kind of follow their their own words uh, instead you know there's differences between uh, values uh, for a classroom and rules for a classroom uh, obviously students want to practice safety safety they want to um, 
know, celebrate each other's successes, uh, brainstorm with yourself and see what you come up with with, uh, with this uh, poster. So I'm going to continue to go here and I'm going to kind of jump back and forth and see what uh, uh, what we kind of come up with with this poster and I'll see you back when we're ready to print. Okay, I hope you came up with something. Uh, so if you are ready to, you can kind of follow along. If not, pause the video directions and uh, pick up right when uh, when you're complete. Uh, I came up with this. I really kind of like these uh, these quotes and whatnot. Um, uh, just inserted a couple quick text boxes. Changed some coloring, uh, applied a background, uh, pulled a picture off of the internet and kind of used it as part of the, uh, the background with uh, the person here helping that person there up the, uh, the mountain. Now, when you're complete, we don't wanna just print it. What we need to do is go to file and save as. This PC will save it on the desktop and you can save it as your own. I'll hit uh, after all this underscore and I'll put game and save. I will also do another save as to the desktop and something you won't be able to modify. So if this is going to be a template, keep it, keep it as a publisher file. Uh, if you have a date on it, uh, prom, uh, anything in student council, uh, events, whether they be sporting or choir, so on and so forth, you, you can you can always change those dates later. But once you're complete with this year's uh, poster, save it as a PDF. So file save as same name, it's totally fine, and the PDF and hit save. And there's our poster, all in one. You can't change the text, you can't change anything, but what you can do is now plot it. So we're gonna turn the machine on. Oh, we're on. Once the machine is turned on, you now go to File and Print. I want to make sure the HP DesignJet T520 36-inch PCL. There are the options in there, but the PCL is what we uh, what we want. We're going to hit Properties, and instead of having it on eight and a half by eleven, and you can kind of see in the preview how small it would be on what is loaded that 24 inches wide by 36 inches long that we created our file. So instead of having it really small, instead of letter, we're going to drop down 
and hit arc D, which is in fact a 24 inch wide and 36 inch long piece of paper. If in Publisher you had a custom size that you wanted to do, if you wanted something even like 17 and a half inches by 13 and three fourths, you could hit custom on that. So once we have that set, we can simply hit OK. And you can see it's going to be 24 by 36. And this is how it's going to show up. And we hit print.